Flav City fam, what is up? It is Bobby back in Costco, as I promised. If you watched the Costco video on Friday, I said to be continued because there was so much stuff I was finding here at Costco. New, exciting, healthy items that the video got too long. I wanted to make a part two. So let's pick up where we left off. Walk around showing the best at Costco right now and why you wanna buy that and put the best stuff in your body. Before we get rocking and rolling, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, share. All those things are great, but there's a bell icon below the video. Enable all notifications. Oh, thanks so much. I appreciate it. <laughs> this is my home, my second home, and I love it. Uh, the, enable the bell icon. Get push notifications when any of our six videos go live every single week, including the live stream cooking demos. All right, that's it. Let's go walk around and check out Costco. There's only two kinds of cheeses I buy at Costco, and both have no lactose. The first one is an art specialty. I say that because art Highly recommended, I get the 36 month aged Parmigiano Reggiano. I used to get like the 24 month and Art's like, come on, you gotta step it up. And he's right. Cause first of all, the price is amazing. At uh, $13.49 a pound, it can easily be over 20 bucks at most grocery stores. But see all those crystals in there? That's lactic acid produced by the bacteria when they eat the lactose in the cheese. That is so much flavor in there. And because the uh, lactose is eaten by the bacteria, it is lactose free. If you're a lactose intolerant like, like me, you can eat this. It still has casein, but it has no lactose and it's delicious. So this is one of the two cheeses I buy here. The other one is right over yonder in this case. It's one of the only cheddars I buy, and the price is amazing here. It's Kerrygold Dubliner cheese at $6.69 a pound. Keep in mind, the Kerrygold, for the most part, is almost 100% grass-fed, and aged cheeses, once again, like it, a cheddar like this, have no lactose. I say mostly uh, grass-fed because Kerrygold abides by Irish dairy law, meaning it's about 80% 80 80 of the year, it's 100% grass-fed. During harsh weather, they give it grain. I'm still not sure if it's GMO grain, but this is the best you can do unless you get an expensive one like an Organic Valley 100% uh, grass-fed. The price on this is great. It tastes fantastic. And this and my friend, the 36-month age Parmigiano are my favorite cheeses here at Costco. Ladies and gents, this cold case right here has three very exciting Bobby approved items, items that are new. Starting with broccoli cheddar stuffed chicken breast. Never in my life would I think I'd approve of a broccoli and cheddar stuffed chicken breast, but let's see what's going on here. It's organic, which is nice, but this stuff could have a ton of bad ingredients here, but they don't. First of all, the ingredient list is pretty darn small, but we have organic non-GMO chicken breast stuffed with organic broccoli florets, which actually doesn't have to be organic, it's a clean 15. Organic cheddar cheese. What kind of rice are they using? Wild rice, the most complex carb, nutrient dense rice around. And then there's a touch of brown sugar on the topping. But you guys, we're talking about one gram of sugar there. That ain't too shabby. The fact they're using brown uh, wild rice, which technically isn't even rice, it's an aquatic grass, which means it has no heavy metals. A lot of brown rice gonna be high in lead and uh, arsenic, and it's nutrient dense, high protein, high fiber. This is one of the cleanest prepared meals I've ever seen before. Wow, wow, wee wow. That is so cool, and the price is right. Look at that, $7.79, we'll scoop that all day. If we come around the bend here, there's something that's for my keto lovers out there. This is actually good, but it could be a little bit better. This is cauliflower dip. So check this out. First of all, macros. Wow, two net carbs per serving. How do they do that? Because the first ingredient is cauliflower. They're using best-in-class oil, EVOO. But look at the sub-ingredients here. So this is a little upsetting. So the honey powder has rice maltodextrin. That's not horrible. If it was GMO corn maltodextrin, it'd be better. It'd be worse, I'm sorry, not better. And then look at this, the lemon juice has tapioca maltodextrin and sunflower oil. That's weird, I've never seen sunflower oil in the lemon juice powder, but it's a minimal amount. So I'm gonna say it's Bobby approved, super clean, that EVOO, very, very exciting. And if we come around the bend here, you'll know from previous Costco videos, I don't recommend any of these hummus here because they always use the worst processed oils. This kind of stuff should only be made with extra virgin olive oil, and almost all the ones in the market are made with canola oil, 
or expeller press canola oil, expeller press soybean oil. You don't want that. Look at this. I've talked about these guys before. They make a really cool plant-based dip, but now they make buffalo style plant-based dip. These guys are out of Milwaukee, I believe. Look at this. Cauliflower, carrots, red bell peppers. Be nice if the bell peppers were organic because they are dirty dozen, but they're not. Look at this. Clean as a whistle, almond butter to thicken it up and ch -ch chia protein to uh, thicken it. Look at the carbs, two net carbs. Very cool. Look at the price. Where's the price? $7.79 for 24 ounces. Pick this one all day over bitchin' sauce because I've talked about bitchin' sauce before. It's so close to being good, but look at this. They use sunflower oil, which is highly processed, and uh, you don't want that. So I'd go with this one for sure. That's fantastic. Ingredients on that aren't so good, huh? No, no, I just know it. Yeah, that one's very good right there. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it's, and it's plant-based. That one's got the dairy in there. Oh, yeah, these are the, GM. the pure ingredients, the better. Right? That's how you and know immediately. You pronounce them, they're good. If you can't, they're not. Good advice. Right? I like that. Yep. <laughs> All right, we got savvy shoppers here today. I love it. Uh, ladies and gents, we talked about the Laird Superfood Creamer in last week's Costco video. In case you didn't see it, the best quality, cleanest, most Bobby approved coffee creamer is Laird Superfood. And the price is right here at Costco. It is fantastic. Um, right now on their website, Pumpkin Spice Creamer is back. It's made with real pumpkin powder, real pumpkin spices. It is how pumpkin spice is supposed to be done, not with artificial flavors and cane sugar. It is the most tasty, clean pumpkin spice creamer. You guys bought so much last time, it sold out. It just came back in stock today. They just emailed me this morning. Check the link down below in the description box for that pumpkin spice. They have 10% off using uh, the uh, email signup list on their website. It's gonna go fast because it's so darn good. We're always looking for easy breakfast recipes on the go. Egg bites are not new to Costco, but this brand is. Let's see if it's cleaner than the old one. The old ones were not very clean. These look different though. So check out the ingredients. Egg and cottage cheese. That's the beginning uh, ingredients for even my keto uh, egg bites I have on my website and my cookbook. A little bit of emulsifier, not bad. Bacon. Uh, has a touch of sugar, that's pretty normal. And then natural flavors. Wow, they cleaned it up, you guys. The old one of this had way more ingredients and the old one was made by the same company who made them for, uh, uh, who was it, Starbucks. And they had carrageenan. These don't. If it was organic cottage cheese or organic eggs, it'd be way better. That being said, for the price of $9.79 for four of those uh, containers, it's pretty good. I know Vital Farms now at uh, Whole Foods has pasture-raised egg bites, much cleaner, but much more expensive. So at least they're getting the right direction here. And then right next to it, are you kidding me? How lazy have we gotten? They're making the cheese with the bread in there. So all you have to do is now warm it and tear it. Oh yeah, yeah, what's next? I guess she wasn't listening to me. The Great Wall of Cooking Oils here at Costco. If you saw my video last week called You're Buying Fake Olive Oil, especially extra virgin olive oil, you would know that this one right here, the Costco 100% EVOO is consistently rated one of the best olive oils around, meaning it's not fake, it's not rancid, it's not cut with mystery olives, and it meets all the requirements to be real extra virgin olive oil. And you can't beat the price. This is one of just a few extra virgin olive oils I would buy for cooking or for finishing at the grocery store and the price is right. Costco does a great job of sourcing real deal extra virgin Italian olive oil with only Italian olives. Get this for sure and then after this video is done, watch my video about fake extra virgin olive oil. It's one of the biggest scams in the grocery store, but Costco, they do it right. I would get the 100% Italian. It's a better value, and it's always ranked as like one of the purest uh, extra virgins on the market. It's really good stuff. Yeah. The pasta section. I got an email the other day about this pasta, and someone thought it was Bobby approved because I always tell you to buy whole grain or whole bean gluten-free pasta. So if you look at the exterior packaging of red and white quinoa macaroni, you're like, okay, it's not, not made with gluten. It's not made with simple carbohydrates. But what do I always say? Read the back. Talk about tricky, tricky, tricky. Where's the ingredients here? Check it out. Sure, it has quinoa, red and white 
What's the first ingredient? Organic white rice flour. When you're buying gluten-free products like pasta and bread, avoid simple starches and carbohydrates like white rice flour, potato starch, corn flour. This one labels itself as a quinoa pasta, but the first and most prevalent ingredient is white rice. No, 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 homie don't play that game and neither do you. Wow, they still have that, that's amazing. This was supposed to be a limited time run for the Primal Kitchen Vegan Ranch Dressing. It's still here going on like two, three months. If you're at Costco, skip any other dressing in my opinion, because Primal Kitchen's made with avocado oil and real deal ingredients. And this price is half the price of any grocery store. Let's hope it's here for good, because that's awesome sauce. There's a new player in the chip aisle, and I don't think I'm going to like it one bit at all. <laughs> Look at this. It's Maine shrimp chips. It's a garlic and butter shrimp chip. That just seems very, very wrong. Let's see the ingredients here. Okay, we got tapioca flour, Ooh. palm oil, horrible for the environment, horrible for the uh, your health, very processed and refined. Then shrimp, then sugar, yeah. maltodextrin, GMO maltodextrin, artificial flavors, yeah. And aspartame, fake sugar, oh my gosh. Plus, they gotta be using really bad quality farmed salmon is my, oh, it's not Maine, it's, what is that, naive? Am I naive for buying this? They gotta be using factory farmed shrimp for that. That is wrong. Oh gosh, please stay away from that. There is one snack somewhere around the corner here. Ooh, those look soft and plush. Ooh, how fuzzy. Ah, there it is. The Almond Nuggets by Eno Foods. These guys have the coconut clusters that are here now also. Uh, these are pretty darn cool, you guys. Oh, they're still on sale. Oh, uh, this video comes, I think it ends today. So if you're seeing this video on Monday, run and get that. Run, Forrest, run! Uh, these are good because they're about as clean as you can get for what kind of treat it is. So it's dark chocolate. The chocolate has cane sugar and a bunch of nuts and seeds and then a little bit of cane sugar and brown rice syrup at the end. But we're talking three grams of added sugar per serving of one ounce. Now, if they used uh, a paleo sweetener, like honey, maple syrup, or coconut sugar, it'd be 100% Bobby approved. I'll still give it a somewhat of a Bobby approval because you can do a lot worse in terms of sugar levels, but it's pretty darn good. And that sale price right there is really darn good. We have a video coming out later this week called You're Buying Fake Honey. And it's most likely from China and cut with high fructose corn syrup and could be high in lead. Scary stuff, which is why you'll learn in that video, you want to buy locally sourced honey. And all Costco's around the country have great quality raw or local honey. This one is Great Lakes, which is really good stuff because you know exactly where it comes from and it's not tampered with. But they also have this. And in that video, you'll learn this is one of the best uh, New Zealand produced Manuka honeys on the market. Look at the price. The price is legit. Too legit to quit. Hey, hey, it's unbelievable because you can find this for twice, sometimes two and a half X the price that Costco has it. This is so good at antibacterial, antimicrobial, and immune boosting properties. This is the stuff I splurge for in the winter, and I would highly recommend getting it here. But be on the lookout for that video coming out probably Wednesday or Thursday. You don't want to buy fake honey, especially from China. It's bad news. I swear the price of this collagen water comes down every time I come to Costco. It's $1.24 a bottle. It's $3 a bottle at Whole Foods. This is just fantastic stuff because it's flavored without natural flavors and it's collagen water. But if you want the best deal ever on collagen, let me show you what's over there. So this is the last day of the sale for the best ever price on grass-fed collagen I've ever seen. So you need to run over to Costco right now. But this is so good and good for you. The second best price after the sale goes away is Thrive Market. Uh, but I've gotten so many messages from Clave City fans. They're going for the limit four. So many people are stocking up on the limit four per member, per visit. This is the real deal. And with that price and the shelf life of this is like a year or two. Scoop that all day, every day. You guys have end of day to get this. It's so darn good. Listen, I'm not a doctor. I don't play one on YouTube, but you know I'm all about immunity, right? And this right here says it's an immunity tea. But here's the deal, and this really puzzles me. The ingredients have pineapple with cane sugar, mango with cane sugar, and natural flavors. 
Uh, my friends, it is my knowledge, and maybe I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm not, that cane sugar actually suppresses and depresses your immune system. And the other ingredients in here, I don't know where the immunity comes from, so I just find that very weird that people are willing to throw out the word immunity like that when there's sugar and stuff in there. Um, I might as well uh, advertise my own tea, the Flav City Immunity Tea with real organic turmeric, ginger, black pepper, cayenne pepper, uh, MCT oil powder, and a touch of monk fruit is now live. I'll put the link down below. Check it out. That's a real, in my opinion, immunity tea. Ain't no cane sugar, ain't no pretenders. Maybe one day we'll be in Costco and kick those guys out. That's good stuff. The price is like half what other grocery stores are. You know what, it's so funny, I was just looking into it, into it and I seen like smaller bags, I'm like, damn. Smaller bags for more price, right? right, right. Yeah, now I'm looking at this like, I know. Oh. It's still expensive per se, but it's way better than anywhere else. Makes... All right, family, that is it. Costco number two is done. That's uh, what, two Costco videos in four days. There's so much great stuff here and I wanna share it with y'all. The thing is, it all varies upon location, especially for you guys out in the West Coast. In California, it seems like you have the best stuff. Love stuff you, I have. Thank you for the love, appreciate it. <laughs> this is my second home, I love it here too. Uh, West Coast, you guys have the best stuff. Uh, like, subscribe, share. The only way this channel keeps growing is by you spreading that love. Uh, two more videos are below me right now. Now, most likely Costco videos, but I will see you soon. Art, Desi, and Rose will see you soon. Until then, hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace. Later.